Life is like uh, climbing stairs. Step by step, you get to the top. But there are lessons to learn from every step. When you skip step two, you have missed the lesson. Life will always bring you back to the step you miss in some way. Life is designed to be lived step by step. The whole world is actually a stage. And we are the actors. On this stage, you don't act forever. Everyone has a specific time frame. We are on a show in the world. The show time is defined for everyone. Your show time is your lifetime. Every moment of every day, everyone is acting on this stage. We are part of the show. Now, the question is, how are you acting on this stage? What is your position on the stage? How are you performing on the show? The show is for everyone. But not everyone performs at their best. If you must perform on this show at your best, then you must understand why you are on that stage. If you don't understand why you are on a stage, you will abuse your presence there. And in the process, you become a nuisance to other people. Understand why you are on this stage. Understand that you have a position on the stage. Occupy that position and put your best on the show. Some people get to understand towards the end of the show that they didn't actually perform at their best. So they die regretting. Because when they were on the stage during the show, they were lazy. They did not perform at their best. With energy and with smiles, Job Lazarus Okello from Uganda. Welcome. To it is with great honor, humility, and joy that today I address the Global Youth Fraternity at the International Youth Conference 2022. If we must secure our future, then we must invest heavily in the youth, for they are the future. Any country that does not invest heavily in the youth has a dark future. The 35th president of the U.S., John F. Kennedy, was right when he said, the future promise of any nation can be directly measured by the present prospects of its youth. The future is not just tomorrow. The future is not just 10 years from today. The future is not just 50 years from this year. The future is from right now going forward. As the youth, what kind of future do we desire? Are we creating that future? Are we always aware that the old generations will never do for us what we are supposed to do for ourselves? Are we prepared to lead humanity to the future we desire? In this great book, Things Fall Apart, Chino Achebe asks a powerful question that, where are the young suckers that will grow when the old banana tree dies? We, the young people, are the young suckers that should rise and positively transform the world. However, we should rise now not tomorrow, not next year, not 10 years from now. I ask you then, are you rising? How are you rising? Can humanity really count on you? What are you doing for humanity as a youth? 
How better is the world now because you exist? Are you really making the world any better? We owe humanity our fruits. We must bear fruits for humanity to enjoy both during and beyond our lifetimes. We are the hope of humanity. We are the hope of the future. We are the hope of the world. We are the hope for the future. We are the hope of today going forward. But are you really the hope you are supposed to be to humanity? What kind of youth are you to humanity? What should humanity expect from you as a youth? Never be a spectator in life. Be an actor. You are born to act, not spectate. The credit belongs to the actors, not spectators. Are you an actor or spectator? How are you acting in the world? In March 1931, Nicholas Murray Butler, the then president of Columbia University, said, The vast population of this earth, and indeed nations themselves, may readily be divided into three groups. There are the few who make things happen. The many more who watch things happen. And the overwhelming majority who have no notion of what happens. Every human being is born into this third and largest group. It is for himself, his environment, and his education to determine whether he shall rise to the second group or even to the first. What a divine statement. I ask you then, where do you belong? Are you among the few who make things happen? Are you among the many who watch things happen? Are you among the overwhelming majority who have no idea about what happens? I challenge you to decide to make things happen. Otherwise, by default, you will either watch things happen or have no idea about what happens. I challenge you to make things happen. I challenge you to get involved in changing lives globally in various ways, in various capacities, and in various places. I challenge you to let your positive impact be felt by humanity. I challenge you to be useful to humanity in every possible way. I challenge you to be active, not idle, for idleness is a clear pathway to failure. I challenge you to be busy, however be productive, not unproductive. Start with yourself, right where you are, with what you have, and you can change the world. Let your voice be heard. Your voice may never be followed by everyone, however speak out, and speak wisely, intelligently, and purposefully. Don't be silent when you should speak out, and never speak when you should be silent. As to when to be silent and when to speak, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will guide you. Therefore, seek wisdom, knowledge, and understanding throughout your days on earth. Don't wait for the future you desire. Create it. Your future is in your hands. Your destiny is in your hands. Your prosperity is in your hands. Your life is in your hands. Don't wait for someone to come and hold your hands and lead you. You may wait in vain, for that person may never come. Go out and look for those who should walk with you or at least show you the way. But remember that in life, other people can always show you the way and even walk with you. But no one can and will ever walk for you. Do you know why? Because it is your responsibility to walk for yourself. The question is, are you walking for yourself? How are you working for yourself? What are you doing to better your life? Define a clear vision for your life. Define what you want. Define what to live for. Define what guides your life. Define your values and virtues and live by them. Define your clear goals and targets. Define where you are going with your life. Define the future you want and create it. Define the things you want to do for humanity in your lifetime and start doing them immediately. There is no better time to serve humanity, touch lives of your life, and transform the world than the time at your disposal. Time is moving faster than you can ever imagine. Time waits for no one. Time is ever on the move and will never delay, even though you may delay. You won't be a youth forever, therefore make the most of your youth. Do everything with all your might. Lay the right foundation for your adulthood. For as the famous African proverb says, where you will sit as an adult will show where you stood as a youth. Where are you standing today in your youth? Where do you want to sit in adulthood? How are you preparing for the future as a youth? As the young people, we face numerous challenges. Regardless, we move on. 
In life, you may be going through tough times, up to the point of almost quitting, losing hope or giving up. However, never quit, never give up, never surrender, never stop striving, never lose hope. Hope is the engine of life. Hope is the bridge between dreams and reality. Hope is the pillar of life. Hope is the link between the present and the future. Hope keeps you moving on amidst your trials and tribulations. When you lose hope, life loses meaning to you and you can take your own life. Be careful not to lose hope in life. If there is only one thing which you must never lose in life, it is hope. Never forget this. Believe in yourself even when no one else believes in you. Work hard and smart. Be humble, self-motivated, positive, dedicated, committed, focused, determined, responsible, passionate and compassionate. Relate well with people. Build proper networks. For your networks, determine your net worth. The world is a global village. Be a global citizen. Never limit yourself to only your country, region or continent. The whole world is yours to explore. However, always prepare well for the exploration. You can leave your map all over the world. You can leave your footprints in all parts of the world. You can serve humanity in any part of the world. Do not think only locally. Think globally. Be a global thinker and actor. Do not be a local thinker. Think and act globally. Be a global citizen so that you can change lives globally. So that you can serve humanity globally. So that you can transform the world. Never limit yourself for any reason, in any circumstance whatsoever. The whole world is yours to explore. Be a global citizen. Are you a global citizen? How do you look at the world? How do you look at people from different parts of the world? Love what you do. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might, as advised by King Solomon. Never despise opportunities in life. The smallest opportunity can be the gateway to the greatest opportunity of your life. We must rise above the challenges we encounter in life because what we want lies beyond our challenges. The challenges should therefore not discourage us but motivate us to strive even harder and smarter for the future we desire. Always keep striving. Always keep moving forward. Always keep taking the right steps in the right directions at the right time. Every little step taken in the right direction gets you closer to your intended destination. What you want is ahead of you, not behind. Look forward, not backward. Forward ever, backward never. Fellow youth, let us take positive actions. Let us be responsible. Let us be in charge of our affairs. Let us be agents of positive world transformation. Let us be proactive. Let us be leaders. Let us go and move the world. Let us change the lives of millions of people. I trust that you will do your best and the very best of the best in your lifetime. As the great Mahatma Gandhi once wisely said, be the change you want to see in the world. What change do we want to see in the world as a young people? How better do we want the world to be? What kind of world do we desire? May we the young people be the change we want to see in the world, for we are the hope of humanity. It is our divine duty to always make the world better than what it is at any particular moment. As the youth, we can either make or break the world. We can choose to either act or not. We can choose to either serve humanity with all our might or superficially. What choice have you made? What kind of hope are you to humanity? What kind of person are you to humanity? What have you defined for your life? What do you want to do for humanity? What kind of future do you want the world to have? What are you doing to create that future? What will be your contributions to the struggle to make the world better than what it is right now? Arise and change the world. Arise and serve humanity. Arise and touch lives. Arise and make a difference in the world. Arise and make your mark in the world. Arise and lead humanity to the promised land. Arise and create your positive legacy in the world. Arise and create your footprints in the world. Arise and bear fruits for humanity. Arise and shine in the lives of many people throughout the world. Arise, young people, the hope of the world. Youth, arise and change the world. We can make the world better than what it is right now. We can change the world. We can transform lives in the world. No one will ever come from any place and do for us what we are supposed to do for ourselves. Let us rise and serve humanity. Shall humanity count on you? 
or not? Shall you rise and make your mark in the world? Shall you be the hope of humanity? Shall you lead humanity to the promised land? Thank you very much. Congratulations, a strong message, powerful, powerful words. Be the change. We live in a disorderly world in which many people are suffering due to various issues. The onus is on us to positively transform the world, for no one will ever come from any place and do for us what we are supposed to do for ourselves. There is a lot everyone can do to make the world better than what it is right now. Everyone can make a big difference in the world in various areas and various capacities. Do not sit and watch as the world perishes. Sitting on their gifts and talents is a great injustice to humanity. Rise and do something in their capacity. Look around you and see how many people are suffering. Rise and touch their lives in all ways possible. You may not change the whole world, but you can change the worlds of many people. Step by step, we can change the world. Let us rise and change the world. Together we can.